Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two squares uh, confined in a circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, yellow square is uh, 55 centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square as well as the area of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow square. Now we want to calculate the side length of uh, this uh, yellow square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square. In our case, uh, our area for this uh, yellow square is uh, 55. So therefore, I can write s square equals to 55, the area. Let me go ahead and take the square root uh, on both uh, sides to undo the square. The square and square root gone. So our this uh, side length s uh, turns out to be square root of 55. So therefore, the side length of this yellow square turns out to be square root of 55. That means this side length is square root of 55. This side length is square root of 55. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect our points A and C. Let me go ahead and connect this point A and this point C. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram and we can see that this AC is the radius uh, of this circle. So therefore, let me go ahead and call this uh, length AC as our radius uh, R. Now let's focus on this uh, triangle ADC and we know that we are dealing with this uh, square. So therefore, this angle uh, ADC is 90 degrees. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So A in our case is a square root of 55. So this is going to become whole square. Likewise, b is square root of 55 as well. So this is going to become a square. And c in our case is this uh, radius r. So this is going to become r square. Now let's simplify this square and square root unto each other. So we got 55 plus uh, likewise 55 again equal to r square. So therefore, r square turns out to be 110. Let's undo this uh, square by taking the square root. So therefore, our radius r turns out to be square root of 110. So therefore, our this radius r turns out to be square root of 110. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square. And now let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, points C and F. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these uh, points. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. Now we can see that this line CF is the radius of the very same circle as well. And we know that the radius uh, of this uh, circle is uh, square root of 110. So therefore, this CF length is going to be 110 square root uh, as well. And now our goal is to find the area of this uh, blue square. So first we need to find out the value of its uh, side length. Let me go ahead and call this side length uh, 2a. This side length is going to be 2a. This is going to be 2a. And likewise, all these side lengths are going to be 2a across the board. And now we know that this uh, side length of this uh, blue square HE has been divided into two equal uh, parts. If this whole side is uh, 2a, then this side length is going to be a and this side is going to be a as well. So therefore, uh, these two side lengths are a each. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, CEF uh, since we are dealing with this uh, blue square. So therefore, uh, this angle is uh, 
90 degrees that means this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this longest leg our side c I'm gonna call this side a and this side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a in our case is a so this is going to be a square and b in our case is 2a so let me go ahead and write down 2a whole square equal to c in our case is square root of 110 and then whole square now let's go ahead and simplify a square plus square of 2a is going to be 4a square equals to this square and square root they undo each other we simply got 110 let's add the left hand side so that is going to give us 5a square equal to 110 let's divide both sides by 5 so therefore our a square value turns out to be 22 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of uh, this uh, blue square now let's see call the area of a square formula once again area equal to s square where s represents the side length in our case the side length of this blue square is 2a so therefore the area of this blue square is going to be 2a whole square and that is going to give us 4a square we know that our a square value is 22 so therefore i'm going to replace this a square by 22 so therefore we got 4 times 22 equals to 88 centimeter square so therefore the area of this blue square turns out to be 88 centimeter square and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this circle now let's recall the area of a circle formula pi r square and in our case our radius r is square root of 110 so therefore the area of the circle is going to be pi times r in our case is square root of 110 whole square so this is going to give us simply 110 times pi now we know that the pi value is approximately equal to 3.14 so therefore the area of uh, this uh, circle is going to be approximately equal to 345.6 centimeter square and finally here is the area of our circle and here is the area of our blue square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye